Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready? I asked him like four times, are you ready? I said yes, at least three of them. And then he said, no, I have to do one more thing. So apparently now we're ready. Uh, wait, no, okay, we started. Okay, good. It's all good. How was your workout? My workout was good. Yeah? It's back day, and as you know, back day is a quicker day for me. I know, I put tw 12 miles in a hard course in the bike, figuring I'd get done it right at 8.30. Right. And at like 8.27 or 26, you came over and like, you done yet? I'm like, no, I have like five minutes. What do you mean? We must go now. I had one more mile basically straight uphill to ride. Right. So he stands behind me watching me ride straight uphill. And I didn't even go, come on, you can do it. You can do no, it. No, he didn't. Although I'm sure he thought it really loud. I did. <laughs> so what do you have for breakfast? Boy, it looks full, doesn't it? Look at that. It's over top. Mm. Oh, I can't put this in here. I'm so having my uh, oatmeal, which of course, all the usual ingredients, uh, minus the um, sunflower seeds and, and, the, pumpkin and seeds. the pumpkin seeds, which I've been cutting back on um, with breakfast because we already are eating almonds. And so I feel like I just don't want to overload with the um, fat. The seeds? Things. Yeah. So um, I'll probably start picking those up as it's getting warmer out when we start eating more salads. Okay, yeah. I like them in salads too. Yes. So I think um, that's true for me too. I'm going to start... As we eat more salads, I'm going to want to put seeds on my salad, so I won't put seeds in my oatmeal. Right. For the same reason, yeah. Right. And I'm, I have uh, raisins in mine, and I'm actually eating them out of my oatmeal. Yes, and I have raisins in mine Which is pretty sad. Well. That's, that's, that's what we actually did. So we eliminated the seeds and added the raisins. Added raisins instead. Right, exactly. Yeah. So we wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, protein bars and sports drinks, and I have... I actually dug into the pantry and I found some that are left, which is a little bit scary. I think this one I may have actually moved from New Jersey three years ago. That's frightening. Right. I think they, some of those moved from New Jersey. This one I think we bought here. This this package. Yeah. This package I think we bought here because we were taking these on bike rides to um, eat at the end at the halfway point. Right. I don't know where this one came from, but so I had we got a few of them here and I thought you know what let's talk about because you know. It's so common to just grab a protein bar, even if you're not getting done working right. out. Like they're easy, you keep them in the car, they keep forever, you eat them. I mean, I used to do it when I was playing volleyball, I always had protein bars in the car right. and I wasn't eating consistent meals, so it was an yeah. easy thing to have. That well, doesn't mean it's food. Yeah, and for me, because mainly because my my bodybuilding background, I never was huge on the protein bars. No, no. Why in no. the past? Why not? Uh, because we always thought that basically you're taking in pure sugar. And as we start reading through some of these, you'll understand that that was good reasoning. <laughs> um, and that's why. I mean, so every once in a while, a brand would come out that we after we've dissected it and discussed it and looked at it and researched it, found out okay, this isn't bad. But then eventually, as it got more popular, the more the sugar started adding to it. Really? But yeah, so it's like anything else, right? I mean, they, um, and the reason why they put so much sugar in this stuff is because it's inexpensive. So it fills. And it tastes good. And it tastes good, right. And those two combinations make is why, you know, as these things become more popular. It also gives you that quick energy rush. Which gives you a quick energy crash, too. And that's, yeah, that's the downside of it, right? Right. So I guess the, the thing is, why do people eat? Protein bars. Well, okay, so post-workout, people eat protein bars because they feel like, well, I just worked out. I have to refuel my body. I have to have the protein. We've talked before about how the actual human need for protein is about 10% of our calories. So we don't need nearly as much uh, protein as we think we do. Right. So that's, that's the first thing. You don't need as much protein as you think you do. And the second thing is your body burns a lot of glycogen, which is what you get from carbs. And we've talked about that, that your body stores glycogen in your blood mm -hmm. and in your liver and um, even in your muscles. And that's what it burns when you work out. Right. Now, if you're lifting weights, you are causing damage to your muscles because you're trying to grow them. So there do, you do need some protein for that. But it doesn't have to be instantaneous. Like, I think there's this thought that if you don't give your body protein immediately after working out, it's going to, like, steal protein from your muscles. Well, yes, and to further that thought... Oh. No Sorry, choking. I got something caught in my throat there, and there was nothing in my mouth. Strange. <laughs> anyway, um, there's a perception, and I know this from my bodybuilding past, because I've talked to people and they've felt this way, that if you load your body up with protein after working out, it immediately goes into the muscle tissue. And that's totally not yeah, understanding not how, how the works. anatomy works and how the, the digestive process works. Right. By the time the food you eat after working out gets into the muscle and actually starts rebuilding the muscle, that's a pretty long process. Right. And it's a series of, of, of events, of eating events that, that make that happen. Mm -hmm. Not just 
oh, let me eat some protein. Um, the, and, and I've said this to you before, is the best thing you can do for your, for your muscles and your body after working out is replenish the carbohydrates that you've just depleted. And hydrate. And hydrate mm -hmm. uh, when, you, that you, when, you know, when you worked out. And I think too, you know, we, we work out on fasting days. So we eat dinner the night before, we go, we work out, we do our normal workouts, and right. then we go all day until six o'clock at night before right. we eat again. Right. And we don't have a problem. No. So let's talk about what's in some of these. You you read some of them. I'm gonna have to pull out my glasses for this, folks. Because they're so little. Um, so I'm not gonna mention any name brands, uh, just because I don't think we should. Yeah, that's so fine. I'm just gonna. I just wanna. Oh, my nose. What's is interesting? Itchy. What I want to point out of these is, is not only do they have sugar, but how many times do they mention sugar in their ingredients? So every time they mention, it means they've added sugar at that point. This one starts off with corn syrup, sugar. The second ingredient after corn syrup is sugar. <laughs> So they found <laughs> the a way to get to, for the first two ingredients to be sugar. Then they go to whole, whole grain oats, palm kernel oil, not a very good oil, oil for you, if, and no oils are good for you, but again, palm oil, rice flour, that's not bad, whole grain wheat, vegetable glycerin. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, whey, and you know our, our, our opinion on dairy. Because that's a, that's a dairy right. product. Peanut butter, uh, which is, says peanuts and salt, so those, that in that's itself fine. is fine. <laughs> Then it lists fructose, another sugar, so that's three. Then it lists canola oil, so that's the second oil. Soy lecithin, which is a fat. Um, peanut flour. That's fine. That's fine. Corn starch, probably not the worst thing. Barley malt, barley malt extract, sugar. So that's four sugars. Right. Honey, sugar. <laughs> now we're up to five. Roasted almond butter, which has almonds, Honey, sugar, that's six. Uh, palm oil, that's the third oil. Baking soda, natural flavors. Now, now, what's interesting, and we saw this in a documentary, they can list natural flavor, and don't actually have to tell you what those natural flavors are. They can just say natural flavors. Right. So, so God knows what that is. <laughs> and then they're gonna throw in some vitamin E and add it to retain freshness. So that's this one. This one. Oh, don't read all those ingredients. We'll no? be here all day. Okay. There's like this many ingredients. The point I guess I want to make, because they're, they're all very similar. So, and, and all of these, you can, you can expect anywhere from four to eight different variations of sugar and two to five variations of oils. Um, what, what surprised me is how many of them have milk in them. Well, I did not realize how many of these products have dairy in them. Yeah, well, whey protein is a very common... I mean, you go to go to any um, you know, health food store and look at their protein powders. Yeah. So it used to be, and this is back when I was working, you know, back when I was bodybuilding, is you had an option between whey protein, 100% egg protein, which was egg white, um, and there was another one, I can't remember what it is now. Anyway, but those, but those whey was just options. one of three options. Yeah. Whey is pretty much the option now, unless you get, like, you can now get vegan protein. Right, which we've got pea proteins, and right? Stuff. Peas yeah. and things like that. That's that's good, um, but whey is probably eighty percent of the protein powder you'll find on the shelf. Right. All right. So let's talk a little bit about um, sports drinks. And I have one sitting here. Um, I have them. I have them in the house from when I had surgery. I yes. think is why I have it. Um, so I know that when I've ridden really long distances on a bike, that if I'm you know thirty miles in. I'm exhausted right. and my bot and water isn't getting it. So if you're an extreme athlete, I'm not talking to you. Right. Right? That, that I'm not talking to you. But if you're just a regular weekend warrior or you're not an athlete at all and you're grabbing this stuff because it tastes good and, and you think it's good for you, right. you're making a mistake. Right. These things are loaded with calories. Um, the very first ingredient is sugar. Yep, the no, the very first ingredient is water. Water. Then sugar. Then sugar. So yes. Um, you know, drink water. It's definitely better for you. You right. know that. Like, that's not news. And then the next thing is, is sugar, which obviously is not a good thing either. So I would say, I mean, if you're an extreme athlete, then that's, that's different. We'll have a different conversation about that if right. you want to. But if you're not an extreme athlete, this is not food. This is not a good choice. Right. So... If these things aren't good choices, and we see people walking out of the gym all the time with their big, their huge smoothies, like right. they've got a 32 ounce smoothie, and I'm like, right. you just undid your whole workout. Right, right. Or they're eating the protein bars. What is Laura saying to us today? Yeah. Oh, protein pushers, yeah. Yeah. It is, it's such a big thing in, in today's market that 
the protein that people think we need, and we just don't. You don't need that 10 much protein. 10% max of your diet needs, should be protein. That's so a max. Let's talk about what is good for fueling the body after a workout. Well, I mean, so I mean, let's take my breakfast. Okay. I have a whole grain of oat, right? right? Um, and let's, I mean, we can even eliminate the seeds and stuff like that because we're doing that for, for um, extra nutrition. Right. Um, but I mean, it still counts. But, but basically, the core of this is oatmeal and fruit, right? I mean, that's Which is going to give you your carbs and your starches. Right, and, and the fruit's going to give you your quick carbohydrates, and the starches are going to give you your long-term carbohydrates. Right. Um, you know, and, and, of course, the oats have protein in them. The oats have protein in them, absolutely. And uh, so do the nuts and the seeds so the that we nuts, have. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, that's a great option. But, you know, if you're the person who... Um, who doesn't have time? Maybe you don't have time to come, uh, you know, home and make yourself oatmeal, or you don't have a way to take quick oats. Right. You, know, you can put oats in a container, put liquid in them, and they'll be ready to eat when you get done working out. That's Let right. me look at what Robert's asking us. Listening live for once. Hey, good hey. to see you, Robert. Thanks for being here. Ah, cooling down uh, from a four-mile run. Right. That's perfect. But, perfect. Well, the first right. thing I'll tell you is water. If you just ran four miles, yeah, water, and then if you're done with water, drink some water and then follow that up with water. <laughs> Hydration is super, super yes. important. And we know that. Like, right. that's, that's not news. But what can you take with you that you can eat easily? And like I said, oats you can, you know, put in a, in a container, put liquid in with it. Add your fruit and then you know stir it up and eat it. That's definitely an option. It doesn't have to be hot. You right. can eat it cold. Right. So that's an option. But maybe maybe that's too cumbersome. You have to drive and eating with a spoon. Don't do that. When no, you're don't driving. do that. That's not. We smart. recommend against it. Exactly. So what can you take with you? You know, an apple is going to give you some really good solid carbs. Like we right. said, the fruit are are going to replace the the glycogen right. in your system really quickly. And I'd say don't just have one apple. Have an apple, a banana. I mean, because he's you know, looking at our fruit. I'm over looking here. at the fruit we have, which is funny. Uh, but the point being is that an apple is great for nutrition. It's just not a lot of substance. Right. It's just not a lot of calories. Well, and I was going to say, if you can have peanut butter, you mm. know, peanut butter is is pretty easy to eat. Right. That's right. great with an apple. Um, peanuts. Peanuts are good. Unsalted, any, un, unroasted, you know, just raw peanuts. Any nuts, yeah. almonds are going to be good for you. Now, again, we've mentioned before, nuts are high in calories. Right. So if your goal is to lose weight, right. don't undo your workout right. by then taking in 300, 500 exactly. calories in, you know, fruit or nuts. And fruit's not really a problem, but nuts and after, after drink, after workout drinks, I right. know are loaded with calories. Yes, absolutely. And that'll undo it. But nuts are really easy to take with you. Yeah. Um, beans and rice is going to be a great option. Again, that requires a spoon, and I get that. But and you can eat that cold right. with some spices. It's going to be well, really. Well, maybe you yummy. can eat that like at, while you're at the gym. If you already have it in your car, eat it before you actually start the motor, and then go driving off. Or eat it when you get to where you're going. Or eat it when you get to where you're going. But maybe where whole, you're going has a microwave, and you can heat it up a little bit. This whole concept, and it's a very American thing that I have to eat on the run. Right. is not healthy anyway. So I would encourage you not to do that to begin with. But if you can take in, you know, some kind of whole food protein and whole food carb, right. whether it's quinoa, rice, beans, nuts, fruit. Make a salad. I mean, so uh, again, we're getting away from uh, breakfast food, but, <laughs> but breakfast is just a term. You can eat anything you want for breakfast. And we've talked about that yes. before. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can put a salad in a bowl and eat that. I don't, as long as it has stuff on it, lettuce is not going to do much for you. Well, again, I mean, never eat um, iceberg lettuce. Iceberg, well, it's water. <laughs> it's water. So, yes, I guess for that point, yes, it does have a lot of nutritional value. Not a lot of nutritional value. Right. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of, think in terms of what you eat throughout the day and then how can I take that on the road with me. Um, Robert's saying he loves oranges. Yeah, oranges yeah, that's are, fantastic. are good. Yeah. No, they are... Um, they're good because don't worry and we've talked about this before don't worry about the sugars in whole fruit yes if you're eating the package it came in the sugar is fine right so i would definitely say whatever you want whether it's oranges or grapefruits or whatever they're fine i right. mean if you're diabetic and you're worried about you know spiking it actually spikes your insulin and your blood sugars less than regular sugar does right. because it comes in the package with the fiber. You want the right. fiber. Now, don't drink orange juice. No, that's, that's different. a completely different thing, yes. and that's not as good for you. Right. So, orange juice is not an option. It's concentrated. I mean, right. it's just, when I mean concentrated, I just mean you're drinking concentrated because you might squeeze it yourself. But the calories but, and sugar. Yeah. Because the fiber's gone. The fiber's gone, right. Yeah. 
And then b- before workout, sometimes we'll have a banana or some dried figs yeah. or yeah. I'll even grab some almonds on my way out right. the door. So yes. I think what we're, what we're telling you is you don't need these packaged things that say, oh, this is a great post-workout option. Right. You don't need Which, those things. Real food works right. just fine. Which incidentally is all the food that we're telling you to eat, except that we're telling you to eat the actual food and some of the processed stuff that they've also added sugar and oils and stuff to. To make them stick I together. I mean, that's what these have in it. They have oatmeal, they have um, fruit, they have nuts, they, they have, have grains. seeds. Yeah, this so, one's called oats and honey. Right, they, but they make it, they, you know, and, and there's a perception that it's convenient because it's in this little bar, you can hold it and drive. Well, you shouldn't be holding anything and drive. Let's say that for the record, <laughs> right? Driving is hard enough. A lot of people don't do it effectively. Right, <laughs> just do that when you're doing, when you're driving. Um, but, so it's basically the same foods that we're telling you to eat. Um, we're just telling you not to eat it in a prepackaged, you know, container. Right, exactly. And that's true even if you're not working out. Like, things that are quick and easy to grab are probably not good for you, which right. we've talked about before. So, you know, trail mix that you make yourself, where you put um, raisins and almonds right. and oats and that, that that's going to be a great post right workout option. And what did we say? That if you can put something in your pantry and have it there for years and still be able to eat it, it's probably not real food. Yeah. And the one that she says she's moved from New Jersey, I am sure if I crack that package open because it's still sealed. I'm sure it's tight, fine. So you could actually eat it. Oh yeah, it's fine. Yes. Look, it's going in the trash after this, incidentally. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it looks like the day you bought it. Look, right. there's nothing. Nothing wrong with it. Nope. Right. It doesn't so, even smell so like that's it. not real food. <laughs> If yeah. it doesn't go bad, it's not real food. Exactly, shelf yeah. life. Right. So that's what we wanted to share with you today was talking about kind of the post-workout, pre-workout stuff and that it undoes your workout. It makes your body work harder and your body doesn't need it. Your body right. is perfectly happy to eat, you know, fruits and nuts and right. grains and beans and all the things you usually eat. Working out doesn't change right. that. And I also say that to start your day, the first thing you should do after waking up and before you go to the gym is drink like 16 ounces of water. Uh, because your body, everybody's body gets dehydrated overnight. Um, you know that by how many times you have to get up and go to the bathroom if you do, or um, just naturally your body will dehydrate overnight. Even just breathing dehydrates right, you. Right, right. Um, so the first thing you should do for your body when you wake up is drink water. And you know, take, take water with you to the gym. We right. carry our water bottles with us. Right. I see so many people who are working out and sweating profusely and they don't have any water with them. Right. So bring water with you. Uh, put your name on your bottle. I have to do that because yeah. I'll leave it sit somewhere yeah. every time. I'm terrible about that. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I don't. Uh, no, you're really good. You, yeah. I don't think you've lost a water bottle since I've known you. No, I don't think I have either. I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lose them. Is there anything else you want to add about uh, workout foods and not uh, foods? No. Um, only thing I will say is that if, if, if you folks have any questions, if you want us to look at a particular protein bar, we're happy to do that. Um, just be aware that we're going to give you our, our opinion. <laughs> we'll give you our opinion of Right. It. Be aware of that. Um, but other than that, I think we've pretty much covered what we wanted to cover for All today. All right, yeah. And we had somebody reach out and give us a topic that they'd like us to cover right. about the, where your body um, carries fat and the different risks of where, where your body carries fat. So I'm going to do some research, make sure I can talk about it intelligently, not just, oh, I think I read this somewhere, right, exactly. but give you some actual useful information. So I'll be doing some research on that and we'll get back to you on that particular topic. And right. if you have a topic of interest to you that you'd like us to research and, and let you know about, just ask. That's it. Yeah. Um, our newsletter went out today. It should have gone out about 9 o'clock. So if you're on our newsletter list, you should have gotten it from our email address, health at rnrjourney.com. So if, if you're on the email list and you didn't get it, please check your junk mail. It might be in there. Right. Um, don't forget to like and share. If you're getting value out of these, we appreciate that. And we've added a button to our website so that if you're getting value and you feel so motivated, but you're not ready to actually join the website for $9.95 a month, which seems super cheap to me for the value that's on there. Um, you can donate.